All right, for my third and final of my new Kaleidoscape system unboxing hands-on overview videos, we have the rack mounting kit for the Strato C Compact Terra server player server combination. Let's take a look at it. So if you haven't already, check out the separate video. I did an unboxing hands-on overview of the Strato C movie player from Kaleidoscape. And I did a separate video as well for the unboxing hands-on overview of the compact Terra server. This is the 12 terabyte from Kaleidoscape. So those two modules work together <clears throat> as both the, your movie storage and your movie player. And with them and kind of like a package deal promo that they're doing, they also sent the rack mounting kit. So by default, I would have just assumed to put the Strato C and the Compact Terra kind of side by side on a shelf in my rack like I do with a lot of my components. But as usual too, if the rack ears and a rack mount is available, it's a nice clean way to stabilize and install things and keep things in your rack. So it came as the kit and let's take a look at it. Let's kind of see how, it, how everything fits together. And I'll decide along the way whether I actually want to use this or might just go ahead and stick with the shelf mounting anyway. So right off the bat here we have the documentation, single unit installation, and a dual unit installation. So the dual unit puts them side by side. Single unit installation kind of puts whatever uh, single item you have kind of in the middle. So we have here the plate piece. This is the, the bottom plate so the units sit on top or sit in the in the plate here and then we see the flares on the side that would screw into the rails on your rack. This is your usual like 17 inch wide standard standard rack size in a 1U vertical space. So if I took this strato and kind of set it in there you can see it's kind of made to fit the feet those little like sticky rubberized feet kind of fit through there. And then this rests nicely in the in the rack space. But we should find some fascia, I would expect some other other pieces. I don't see a way, at least not yet, to like fasten the strato to the unit. So there are two bars in here. And these are the front pieces. So there's the single unit <clears throat> one U cover. So basically you'd have your strato I guess in the rack and this would sit over top of it so you'd be screwing screwing through two two side pieces to hold all of this together and then we have the double so you'd have a strato and a terra or a strato and a strato or terra and a terra I guess whatever combination of devices you you have and then we get a little bit of a couple of screws here oh these are rack screws looks like standard size four four rack screws for the four placements on the front so a couple of things I guess I'm not seeing a way to fasten any of this together so that would just sit right sit in there Oh, okay, so it does fasten together. So on the bottom of the unit here is one, two, three screws. So you would pull those screws out. You would set this down into the into the bracket, move it forward or backward to get it all nice, set, flush, and such as you would like it to sit. And then you screw those screws through, through, and through. Or here, one, two, three positions whatever fits depending on whatever unit you are connecting in there and I presume uh, similar concept here one two three four screws with the Terra this one's a little heavier and it sits a little more deeper that makes sense so that gives you the nice stability it's not just going to flop it's not going to get hit everything would sit nice and flush and I guess the other thing that I'm not seeing in here is where you put the power supply. So I don't see a mounting location. 
Yeah, I don't see any spe I don't see any mounting locations for the power supplies. So I presume what you would do is if you have a nice flush mount face installed, you could just set the power supply on the top of the back of the unit. If you put it actually in a 2U space where this is the bottom U and maybe you do just a blank above that, that's probably what I'll do. And then the power supply would fit just nicely on top of the Terra or on top of the Strato um, in its place. And then everything will sit and stay in kind of a nicer, more, more locked in way. And honestly, I don't even know what they charge for this independently, but since it came as a combo and it looks like it'll install pretty clean, I think I will go ahead, go ahead and use it. So that's the Kaleidoscape 1U rack mount bracket. Pretty good. I think I will use this. So look for me to probably do the installation. I'll probably just embed that into one of the upcoming home theater vlogs. We'll get this whole Kaleidoscape, this new Kaleidoscape system fired up. My Strat OS is out and gone. And in its place will be the new C and the 12 terabyte compact Terra. Double the space, 200 movies. I'll be able to store a lot more of what I want to keep resident. Um, I found the 6 terabyte to be a little bit limiting. And then, of course, back to those like 12 ish minute. 12-ish minute movie downloads on a 500 megabit internet service instead of 45. Totally changes the character of using the Kaleidoscape in our household and for our family based on how we watch movies and what we decide we're watching and, and so on. So really excited to get this. I think Kaleidoscape is awesome. And I will be doing a bunch of follow-up independent Kaleidoscape videos, setup, overview, ins and outs, pros and cons, programming, integration with the JVC projector and the Control 4 system and that scope screen, doing the auto aspect ratio control and triggering of the proper installation modes. I was doing that already before with my prior Strat OS, but I will break down how I set that up and, uh, and the automatic programming and such in Control 4. So look for a whole series of Kaleidoscape videos uh, in the weeks ahead from the, the publishing of this video here on the channel. If you have any questions, you want to see me talk specifically about something Kaleidoscape related, ask away in the comments. Um, I, I've been a user and owner of uh, different versions of Kaleidoscape hardware for a few years and now into this, this new Compact Terra uh, system. So I know quite a bit about it and happy to, happy to uh, answer and cover and so on in more detail in the future. Otherwise, please like and subscribe. Look down in the description for some ways to support the channel, and thanks for watching.